What the hell is going on team? It is so freaking good. I don't want to get demonetized, so I'm not going to swear to have the game day vlogs back. We are here on a Saturday game is uh, tomorrow. It's about 2 p.m. We're hitting the gym. We're just going to go through a pretty slow workout, working through a little bit of the back, not incredibly high level weight. We're getting a little bit of arms in as well, a little bit of tries and buys, and of course, a bit of mobility as well. So we're just ticking off all the boxes before we get going and get started with our uh, massive game tomorrow. Let's get it. Out with my soul leaking, going hard till I'm so eating. No chatting and no speaking, no death and with slow breathing. Damn, homie, you the man, homie. They can't do it, but you can, homie. They can't do it, but you can't throw me in a different lane with your plans growing. Oh, baby, you so crazy. Flow wavy, they gon' hate me. Yeah, I got it, that's no maybe. Won't bend forward or even break. I show up with my face bright like a bad joint on. Bloody hell, what a sesh. We are feeling absolutely juicy as hell. As well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the new crib that we're living in here in, uh, in Bali. Um, but yeah, we're feeling absolutely elite today. But I have been crook as a dog in the last couple of weeks. I have um, went to Bali two weeks ago, got myself Bali belly, which absolutely cooked me and was no good at all. So we're slowly trying to recover from that. My guts have been crook as, I have not been able to eat my normal diet. I've literally just been only uh, consuming carbohydrates, simple carbohydrates like pasta and bread because I haven't been able to get the, uh, get the guts um, moving as soon as I eat straight to the toilet. So Barley Belly absolutely cooked me for pretty much two weeks. We're just starting to feel good uh, as of today. So we're back to it. Alrighty guys, we did just get a package through Dynamics. So I'm gonna have one of these brownies. What should I go for? These brownies are actually elite. Like all they have is dates, peanuts, if it wants to focus. Dates, peanuts, protein, coconut, sea salt. Like, there's not really that much to it. Source of protein, not really. They're pretty much um, full of carbs, which is good because we need carbs for uh, the weekend. But yeah, we love Dynamic. Thank you very much for sending all of these out. Heaps of ready-made meals. But all of them are made with protein and uh, like grass-fed beef, free-range chicken. So they're probably the healthiest um, options you can actually get. So shout out to Dynamic for that. Uh, I'm just gonna have a little protein shake now. So it's about two o'clock. I start off the day with uh, scrambled eggs on toast. Haven't been doing too much toast lately. Um, you know, previously kind of trying to cut out carbs a little bit of my diet, but now obviously footy season's back. You need carbs uh, at all times for training and for games, so the carbs will be back up, which is absolutely beautiful because we all love our carbohydrates. So we're gonna be um, consuming a little protein shake now, and then we're gonna go out for dinner, which will be lovely with the missus. So, God damn, what a beautiful day here in freaking Bali. Just beautiful, just beautiful. Couldn't be happier. Uh, but yeah, let's get into a protein shake. Here we go. Quick little protein here for the big fella. One scoop. I usually do two scoops, but I'm just gonna go with the one today just because I don't wanna absolutely kill my guts. Chocolate flavor, baby, look at that. Freaking absolutely beautiful. And of course, full cream milk, that's all I use. Um, smells right. Uh, I only use full cream milk. Everyone always asks me, or oh, do I go skinny milk? It's more processed, so like, just use raw milk, real milk, organic milk if you can. If you can, even try and get it unhomogenized and unpasteurized, which I think is actually illegal. They don't even let you do it, but um, the less processed, the better. So I just go full cream. If you guys want any of the subs, use the code. What code am I gonna give you? Uh, use the code weekly vlog, and I'll give you 25% off. So go get yourself some chocolate, any creatine and that sort of stuff as well. I'll put all that in my shakes every single day as well. All right, this is the dinner fit. Off to catch myself and feed with this scrumptious looking I'm the feed. scrumptious looking dessert. <laughs> yeah, these are. I'm, I am very stylish. And some large nuts. I am very very stylish. Um, I must say, a lot of people always asking for style tips from me, but um, never can give them. Uh, so where are we going for dinner, darling? That's a good question. We're going for dinner somewhere. Somewhere. Bella set it up, so we're gonna go catch a feed and get some burrata. That's what I feel like. Burrata. We're in the coop right today. Bella's here. Now, where are we going for dinner, Belsie? Maven. Maven. By Morgan. 
Yeah. Even by Morgan. Apparently, this Morgan bloke's a pretty good guy, so shout out to him. We're here in um, the capital of Melbourne. Brunswick Street. Brunswick. <laughs> Starting off the night with some big carbs for car shop. Upgrade. Holy flower. That looks good. That looks really good. We're on it, baby. Let's load up. Okay, Lift on it. Fuck it, girl. Bruv, I'm so freaking full. I don't know if I'm gonna eat all this. And we do it. I'm too full. My life, we did it. We did it. We managed to do it. Thank you. Alright, ladies and gents, quick dessert. We have Biscoff Tiramisu. And. Oh, I tell you what, fresh sheets in the evening might just be the pinnacle of life. I'm going to wrap up day one, Saturday, it's usually Friday, Saturday, um, thanks guys for watching so far, I guess. Game day tomorrow, Nations Cup, first game of the year, we are back, game day vlogs are back, everything is back, it is good to be MF back, don't want to get demonetized, so I'm not going to swear, but that is it for today, good night everybody, I was going to say sleep well, but that's probably more so for me than you, so hopefully I sleep well, I'll be tracking all of my work, I want to try and get my eight hours, it's about 11 o'clock, Get some shut eye. I'm off. Illy. Good morning, everybody. It is game day, Sunday. It's usually Sunday, but Sunday this week. So um, probably got about seven hours sleep, I reckon. Would have gone to bed at about 11, woke up at seven, but there is always a little bit of kind of wake sleep um, in the middle there. I know that's eight hours, but let's have a look. Let's have a look, team. We slept for 6.41 last night, so not even seven. Went to bed at 11.30, woke up at 7. I know that doesn't equal 6.40, but you're obviously awake for a lot of that time. Um, and 75% recovery, so pretty happy overall. That's uh, not too bad. Going to start off the morning with a little bit of a walk and then a coffee. And then um, pretty much get back, get ready for footy and start playing. Nice. W's. W's in the chat, team. All right, we're starting the day off with a coffee from Plain Sailing. That's where we are in Brighton. And a little walk, a little beach walk. But this is the go, oh my God. How about that, the beautiful freaking sun. Just, the beautiful sun at the moment is absolutely radiating off my coffee cup. That could be the most gorgeous thing. I'm cinematography bulge, is what they should call me. Did I go to cinema school? No, but I should have, because look at this. Oh my God. That could be my desktop background. Oh, there's a full on freaking event going on here. People are bloody everywhere. There's just things going on everywhere. So, nothing makes me happier than waking up on a Sunday and just seeing these mother beep getting after it. We've got freaking runners, we've got swimmers. We've got Bella, who's puffed out from walking. We've got people speaking. Yeah, it's all going on here. I love this stuff. Ready to go to war today. Walk, check, complete. Good to see everyone getting after it. Now it's time for a feed. What's on, what's on for you? What do you reckon? What food? Okay, that was not. Kids drink, kids organic OJ. That's probably something. Okay. Whatever this guy. All right, this is a serious beef for breakfast. We've got chili scrambles on brioche, the heap of carbs. Good start there. Good job. And then potato rosti. This is Bell's feet emasculated. Emasculated. Woo. All right, game day. We are on our way to uh, Digger's Rec Reserve. We're about 40 minutes away, so we're just. Uh, Getting that drive in, it's a lovely day outside. Yeah, We're probably sitting at about 30 time. degrees, so it might even be a little bit too hot, but we love playing footy in February because the rays are shining down onto the freaking melon, and we are... It's just good to be back playing footy. You get those butterflies again when you're like, I haven't played footy in ages, so I'm super keen to get back to it. 
But to be perfectly honest with you guys, I've got no idea about the comp. I've got no idea how good we're going to go. I've got no idea how I'm going to go. I don't know much about anything. I'm kind of just rocking up playing. Big shout out to the team that's put this together. Um, Lauschy, obviously, Peter Lausch has, has put this team together. So it's a really exciting um, little venture that, that he's got going on. And um, hopefully we can we can take away the chocolates. The obviously, obviously the format of it is going to be play those three teams in a round robin, two 20 minute quarters. And then at the end, uh, there'll be a grand final at around five o'clock. So yeah, it should be interesting to see how we go, and it should be interesting to see how we fare up against those... Uh... Uh, I've got a presentation for the captain and the vice-captain, since this is the foundation uh, foundation game of the Allies, and you are the captain and vice-captain. Tommy, there's one for you, mate. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another game day vlog. Uh, it has been a little bit of a process trying to figure out what we're going to be doing with footy this year, but finally I have landed on a game here in February, and I will be playing for the Allies in the Nations Footy Cup. So a big shout out to uh, the Nations Footy Cup for getting this all sorted. It's a very, very exciting uh, little tournament that goes on in February. I think this is the fourth or fifth year that they have it running. We are the first uh, Allies team to ever be involved. So the Allies is going to be made up of, obviously, uh, probably around um, around Australian sort of footballers. So not Victoria, it'll be Northern Territory, Queensland, Tasmania, ACT, etc. So that's going to be what makes up the team. And we are playing against um, Nations Footy Cup teams. So uh, these teams will be Lebanon, Italy, and also Malta. And in the first game, we have Italy. The games are running a little bit over time. First tap of the game, we go straight back at that six o'clock and we get the clearage, which was a very good start to the game. And we go deep inside forward 50. I think we have a little bit of a, the wind. I um, I was lucky enough to win the toss and was going with the wind. Get a good handball over my boy Baxter Mench here, who is uh, just an absolute um, ball magnet. He... Uh, He's obviously training and getting ready for his season at, um, at Torquay, I believe. So probably didn't want to go 110%, but um, he is a genuine superstar footballer and obviously play with him up in um, up in NT for the Buffalo. So we get a pretty good start here. And, and like I said, with the win, we actually get the first goal of the game, which was um, elite. And we kind of find our way um, through, like we're, we're really kind of, very very new to to each other like a lot of us don't know who who each other are um still kind of figuring out names as um as i go and that's a bit of a worry considering um being captain i don't really know anyone's names but like literally that was everyone we didn't really um have much of an idea in the first half we are up nine to one uh so a good little start from the allies and we are um feeling really really good but Unfortunately, um, Italy do get a little bit of a run on at the start. Um, able to get my hands on the footy a little bit, get it forward to Russell Robertson, who goes bang and kicks a goal. So we're pretty stoked with that. All the boys get around him. Um, and uh, Baxter, obviously, again, handball out to me. And then I try to hit a nice little short, um, which I do. But Italy get a little bit of a run on, like I said before. And I'm um, trying to get us kind of back into the game as much as possible just with um, as much run um, and trying to get to as many contests as possible. But they were pretty tight on me, as you can see here. They, they actually really started to, to defend pretty pretty hard. It was 10 to 8 here. Um, but uh, with the wind, uh, Italy do probably take a little bit more advantage of it. And in the midfield, maybe we... We, we actually ended up winning the clearances, but um, we, we struggled with that connection of probably getting it inside 50 um, more than anything. So we would get it inside 50, but, uh, but yeah, we just, we just struggled with that final, um, that final kick or that final goal. So we couldn't quite, and getting like slinged and, and smashed as, as much as possible in the middle as well. So um, it was actually boiling as well. It was about 35 degrees. So I was just trying to get myself into the game as much as possible by running. Uh, we get a kick out here and unfortunately, could not get the mark and then probably missed a tackle that I should have got and they actually ended up kicking a goal. So I was pretty flat about that, but that's all right. Play on. Um, and then they get a little bit of a run on. I go down deeper forward and um, 
I'm trying to kind of get myself into the game just by pure kind of like will. But again, kick it forward and just didn't really have too much of a connection. So in the end, we lose game one to Italy, 25 to 17. And um, obviously appreciate everyone um, coming up to me after the game and everything. Italy were fantastic. Um, very, very, uh, very, very kind after the game, etc., etc. So second game, we've got Lebanon on the bigger ground. Um, so this is pretty much just like a round robin or a tournament. We've got Majak Dora in the back, as you can see, who's an absolute ripper. Um, and yeah, so we start a game against the, the Lebanese team and um, get the first clearance here and just get absolutely poleaxed. <laughs> Got absolutely smashed. I thought it could have been a free kick, but um, play on. I probably it probably could have been holding the ball as well. But um, the Lebanese team were were pretty strong in the contest, and they definitely got the jump on us at the start. They had the wind uh, to start off, so they um, definitely got a definitely got a uh, probably a bit of a surprise on us. We didn't really know what was happening. As you can see here, they go goal, goal, and then we were kind of messing around with it a little bit. We we couldn't really get much of a um, much of a run on or get just anything working that, that we wanted to. Um, and there was a heap of free kicks going against us as well. Didn't really feel like it was going in our favour. And at the first end of the first half, it's 24 to zero. And I was pretty frustrated at the end of the first half, understandably, because I think that we had one of the best teams on paper coming into this game. And I was really frustrated that we weren't showing that. Um, and that we were down in the second game. If we don't win this game, then we can't play in the grand final. So um, we do get one of the first clearances and, and we do get it forward and, uh, and kick a goal. So that was, uh, that was really good and probably gave us a little bit of momentum, a little bit of um, trust that, that we can kind of get going. And like I said, it's really hard because we're just trying to figure out who everyone is um, at this stage. But started to get my hands on the footy a little bit more in the second half. Um, and yeah, give us a few more, few more licks, few more chances, uh, kicking some snags. But just trying to get on my bike as much as possible. Here it's really hard because unfortunately sometimes you get on the bike and then your oppo number ends up getting it. So it can be um, really difficult. But then sometimes you're in the right position. It's just it all comes down to work rate for for anything. And even in 35 degrees, it's just like you just want to be putting in as much work as possible and, and trying to get to as many contests um, as as possible. Um, but yeah, they continue to uh, continue to kick a few goals and probably puts us on on the back foot a little bit. Majak was uh, was really really good in the middle, just just punching it forward and, and getting it moving forward. Um, he yeah, he's obviously just an absolute beast um, there in the ruck. So. He um he always gets gets working, and obviously there were, I don't think there was too many tall players for for Lebanon, so it was um it was pretty good having him in the uh, in the ruck, that's for sure. Like I said, it was bloody boiling, but um we just managed to to figure out a way to um, get ourselves back into the game in the second half, and I think that that gave everyone a lot of belief. We uh, <laughs> at the end of the game, this bloke gets a free kick in the end. If it's going to show it here, gets a free kick. I could have got caught high, but the other guy got a free kick. I don't know where that free kick come from. Um, and this is at the end of the game. And I give it back to him and just tried to fake a 50-metre penalty. Doesn't get it. Um, goes back to the free kick and is like saying how bad I am. And then plays on. We get a tackle, <laughs> which was pretty funny. And I just went up to him and said, oh, buddy, I'm mate. Like, that's what you get for being a little bit arrogant. But um, it was all funny games to get. We, we played on. And then I gave him a shove. And then the whole Lebanese team come after all the boys. And, um, mate, the boys were elite. Look at, look at Lebanon. Look at Team Lebanon, bro. They all just come after him. Pretty funny. Uh, but, yeah, we get around, um, obviously, everyone after the game. And, it, mate, it's all funny games at the end. Like, yeah, we're playing serious. But um, you don't get anything out of being a... Sook or being a sore loser in, in these kind of tournaments. It's all fun. Um, everyone wants to have a good time. So that's the most important thing. Last game, we've got Malta and we know that we can't win or go through to the grand final. So kind of just made it uh, my message before to say, go out, play your footy, enjoy yourself and um, let the rest come. Uh, got an early kick and unfortunately just 
slid it across. Very frustrating. I don't usually miss set shots, but let that play on. Um, had a heap of opportunities like in the right spots, um, but just couldn't quite get the ball over. Sometimes that ball movement was slow, um, or it's hard because on this field it was a lot smaller, so we are kind of just trying to be a little bit more direct. <laughs> My opponent here was saying, love your stuff, which is pretty funny. This guy was giving me a bit of stick before <laughs> and then also said, love your stuff, <laughs> which is pretty funny. So it's all funny games in the end. Like like I said before, it, you want to take it seriously, but um, it is all funny games. Now, this guy here was, I was getting shoved, my head was getting shoved into this guy and then he was having a cry about me, like shoving my head into him. But I was getting pushed into him by it my opponent who's his teammate so i was like bro i wasn't freaking doing anything this guy tried to take me on here holding the ball which is good to finish off the first half and the boys really did start to just um i don't know i think just gel together a little bit um and play some really good footy so i think that that was uh that was really really exciting this was definitely holding the ball and just like Cold play on. Got a few free kicks here in the middle. And again, just trying to be as direct as possible because now we're going with the wind in the last quarter. Um, just try to get it as deep as possible. How about that for a grab? And me and Madge are very, very happy about that. Me and my boy, um, he's an absolute beast. Had a probably going for goal here. Maybe, maybe not. I'll say it's a pass, but uh, ended up in the hands um, of our lads. And we're down by about three points here. One of their guys drops a mark. I'm fortunate enough to be in the right spot at the right time. Left foot Nana straight through. The umpire was like, what the hell? Nice goal, bro. But anyway, I kicked one goal for the whole tournament and that was it. So you take that for sure. Um, and at the end of the game, unfortunately, they, they, did, um, they did go down the other end and, and kick a few. So... Um, we didn't quite get the results that we wanted to in the end against Malta, and we didn't get any results we really wanted to in the end. But uh, finished zero three. But I tell you what, it was bloody a fantastic experience, fantastic time. Everyone was great after the game, and we'll definitely be back next year, bigger, better, stronger. And uh, yeah, watch out Nations Cup um, because we'll be building an Avengers Super Team, I reckon. Um, but I'm very, very excited to be involved again next what year. What the hell is going on, everyone? Thank you so much for watching the game day vlogs. We are back at home now um, after a big day on the tools. Unfortunately, didn't get the results that we wanted uh, in the end, but it was a crap load of fun. I was going to swear, I don't think crap will get me demonetized, but... It was a fantastic, fantastic tournament. Massive shout out to um, obviously allies and all the sponsors and everyone that got involved in it. Massive shout out to the Footies Nations Cup as well for getting all sorted. Uh, that was absolutely amazing. So shout out to everyone that got, in, got involved. Shout out to all the sponsors. Thank you guys for watching another game day vlog. We've got heaps of these planned for this year. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff because we have so much in store for you. I love you. Let's freaking go.